one. Hello, I'm Justin Spicer, and I'm here today, um, basically giving a shout out to to um, Scott Grove. He um, he does guitar lessons and stuff, and but um, he he came up with this modification that you can do to your humbucker equipped guitars. And the modification is if you have um, humbuckers that are like designed with pull pieces and then screws, you can actually take the screws out and make the humbuckers sound like single coils because. Um, you're basically disabling this this coil, but this one's still working. So it's like a single coil sound, but it's noiseless. But anyway, he came up with that modification, and he didn't see anyone else who did before him, and I don't see I didn't see anyone else who did before him either. So I'm basically giving him credit for that, and I decided to try it on this guitar, which is Chucky Greenwood's 1978 Guild S60D. And these are actually Dean humbuckers. You can find these in any um, any cheap Dean flat, uh, V or Z or um, any of their any of their flying V or Explorer or um, copies with a bolt-on neck. These are around um, the three hundred or two hundred dollar mark. I actually had a flying V, and these are the pickups from it. And I decided to try the Scott Grove humbucker modification. So, um, nor, and most people would want to flip around this pickup, but I have yet to do that because I just happen to like the way it sounds in conjunction with the bridge humbucker. So anyway, I still have the original version, the original review of this guitar on my channel, and um, you can actually do a a fairly good comparison just because I'm using all the same sounds on GarageBand and my Line 6 UX2 and these are actually still the same strings and same humbuckers and same height and etc. Now what might make this guitar sound a bit different from any of your guitars that you've tried this out on this is just for anyone who's watching this video the volume pot in here is actually I believe a 250k volume pot as opposed to a 500k that you would normally use for humbuckers because this guitar originally had two single coil pickups in it but those have since been removed but the pots were never changed so now it's like two single coil ish sounding pickups going into a 250k pot that makes it sound kind of normal so anyway like I said my 6 UX2 um, going into GarageBand and I'm gonna open up the line six thing and start recording on GarageBand and get some sounds going. So this is the neck pickup of the guitar, which actually kind of sounds like the middle pickup of the Strat, just considering the placement of it. And uh, I could change my sound here. My apologies. So now, um, as you can see, I still have this this coil is the one that's working and on most strats you either end up with a 21 or 22 fret neck and your neck pickups right about here but this is where this pickup is so it's like in between the neck and the middle pickup of the strat so it, it has a very different sound of it and this is it with the clean tone <laughs> This is both pickups on, which I actually really like. It's not exactly a strap, but it's not exactly a telly, it's its own thing. Bridge pickup, which to some is in the right position. You know, it's not, you know, this coil isn't over here, so it's not, you know, sharp or shrill. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to an overdriven sound that I might change coming, you know, soon. Maybe. 
in time for the next video. Just because I'm not really a fan of it anymore. And as you can hear, there's no 60 cycle hum, which is great. I might actually consider doing this modification with three humbuckers and putting them in a guitar. Just to try something different. Go over my strap for a bit. Ah. Okay, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, here we go. So, neck pickup. <laughs> pickups bridge pickup okay so you can see why I don't really like the overdrive sound too much and here's the distortion, which I actually do like a lot with this guitar. Knife pickup. That's what happens when I don't play guitar for a few days and try making a review.
So anyway. I am Justin Spicer. If you liked this, subscribe to my channel or try out the modification for yourself. And if you don't like this, go away.